These two crashes today bring school bus safety to the forefront. Local schools say they hope to learn from both of those incidents. It could impact safety protocol on your kid's bus. And WG Inspector Doss is live in Quincy tonight digging deeper into that part of the story. Patrick. Well, Gene, here at the Quincy Bus Barn, QPS keeps a share of the district's buses. And with the events in Iowa and Missouri today, bus safety is something the district takes very seriously. Dan Bartelt is the training manager for Quincy Public Schools Transportation. He also drives a bus, something he's done for 18 years. Safety is number one. Every decision a school bus driver makes and is supported by the staff here, it's supported by uh, the Illinois State Board of Education. Every decision a school bus driver makes is based on safety. Safety's always got to be first. Today, a rural Western Iowa school district experienced a school bus fire that killed a driver and student. Superintendent Roy Webb says the district uses times like these to look at their bus safety. I think it's always a time to reflect on your practices, what you do, and uh, as a district, uh, become better and question, hey, if that happened here, would we be prepared for that? Practices that Bartelt says involves inspecting buses regularly, as well as having drivers take part in safety drills. One of the things that uh, we are concerned about, of course, in school bus driver safety and evacuations is one of the things we focus on is how to safely get the children out of a school bus in the event of an accident like that where a fire erupts. Webb says while the district does maintain a culture of bus safety, there's always room to improve. And they do an amazing job of that. Our, our, our buses have an amazing safety record and we want to keep that so, and, uh, so we work towards that end state. And Webb says the district will continue to do things like evacuation drills. And as soon as the cause of the bus fire is revealed, they'll work to make sure that doesn't happen to any of their buses. Live in Quincy, Patrick Doss, WGEM News.